Well, hello everybody, Vicky here. As you can see, I've got my jelly plate out and this is my number nine in 100 makes. Someone has to be last and I'm okay with that. Um, I've got my jelly plates out and I don't clean the paint off them when I finish. I like to be able to pull them up in the next session. So, as we're going along, I am trying to pull the old paint off and hopefully get some nice peeled paint and textured prints while we're at it. Now, I've got the little one out as well. I like to have the jelly plates out so that I can roll off the excess paint onto another jelly plate. That way I'm using up all the paint that I get out because I am notoriously bad at, at getting too much paint out and not knowing what to do with it and just too much to be constantly rolling off. That first pull there, I like it. It's got like that, that um, textured look about it. And on the back here, you can see a lot of what's on this plate, but some of it's just on the um, acetate sheet that the jelly plate sits on. So that was a pretty good one, that blue one. Now you will see here, I'm using uh, watercolour inks and I, I'm not sure what I was thinking, but there probably is enough ink there for dozens of, of pulls, but nonetheless, this is what I've done. I always use too much and I used so much, the dominant colour ended up <laughs> being the only colour and I didn't um I, I almost forgot to give it a bit of a spritz and and roll it I was so keen to do it now if you have a look now and you can see it the ridiculous amount of colour that I have got on there um a th one drop each of those colours would have been sufficient but never mind now I picked this little one up and I think I thought that I would transfer it like stamp it off but I didn't and at the end of the day even though you can see that there's just swags too much ink paint on that I like it so I've left it that way and I really like this one too I think that's come up nice but it hasn't really lifted much that's underneath so here I am now a little bit more in control of, of the amount of paint that I put on so that was very quickly. <laughs> it's all happening very quick for me. So I think what we might do is, is just keep an eye on what's going on. It's going to be a little bit difficult for me to be able to keep up with to talk about all of them because I have edited it. I really like that one and that one. This is one of my favourites, the two that you just saw. Now you can see that I'm struggling to get the paper off this one. I have found that if the paper lifts straight away, it hasn't got any of the underneath yumminess. But this one has just about cleaned the, the jelly plate completely. Everything that was on that jelly plate is now coming up and, it's, and it is worth taking my time and just battling with it to get it off without tearing it. So you can see there, that's just about everything that was left over from the last play. And I really like that. That's kind of the thing that I like. Now once again, here I go, too much paint. And it got so bad I had to get the third jelly plate out. I couldn't get the big one out because there's just no room for it. So I just have to try and remember that, you know, sometimes less is more particularly when you want to try and lift what's underneath it. And all those, for those who don't do jelly printing, all that dark underneath it is old layers of paint that's starting to get a little bit too thick. And there I go again, watercolour ink, splashing it everywhere, far too much. But not to worry, we get there, don't we? This, I should have said at the beginning, but this is for beginners, this, this session. I'm a beginner. It's all in aid of me using up my mixed media supplies and other things that I've got 
in my work in my workspace to do my 100 makes with I'm not looking for it to be buying any other supplies or getting anything to do these these 100 days I'm wanting to be using all my paints and 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 what have you before they all go dry really loved that one too so you can start to see my jelly big jelly plate is starting to to come clean I don't mind if it's dirty but if we can get it clean in a session it means we've got all that old paint up and that I really like too I don't mind with white showing through on any that I do not afraid of a bit of white space I think it's a lovely contrast and and yeah, like I said, as you see me pull slowly, you know it's it's gripped really well, and it's and it's given me the results that I'm looking for. So I'm really really pleased with some of these and that one too. I'm pretty much loving all of what's going on. So I've got a bit of a change of colour. So we got that one up, and you can see that there is some of what's underneath coming through. We'll try again because that blue is too much on its own for me. What I have got that you will see soon is, is when I, when I do a session with the jelly plate, although we'll get this one off first because we're starting to really get to what I love. And I love all that white space. You see that there with a little bit of the metallic showing through? And now you can definitely see what's left on that big plate. Uh, we've picked up quite a bit as we have done on this one. And that, once again, I think they make great backgrounds. So, and I love I love this little stencil for the... the um, jelly plate it just comes up really really lovely all the time I don't have a great deal of experience with the jelly plate I've had jelly plates and lots of supplies for a number of years and haven't been using them and I love doing it so I don't know why I don't do it more often so this hundred makes is is about me falling in love again with everything I've got and ha just having a go we don't have to be Picasso every time we pull a piece of paper. Now, what I'm flicking through here is, is they're the plain sheets that I've just laid colour down on, ready to come back to to put something on top of it. Now, I put a um, spray on, on the plate and I didn't wet it down and I also didn't brayer it on because I wanted a bit of grungy on this one. I wanted to tone down the brightness of it and have it a little bit grungy. Now this one on the back, this is a um, waste piece of um, photocopier paper that obviously is a photo of something at some stage. And it's got orange paint on it from the past. And the other thing too is, is you can like, I've just cleaned that stencil off and there's a pattern on that paper. So that's taken a too bright piece of paper for me and just and just damped it down a little bit. Uh, I think it's quite usable now. So as you can see, I'm just squirting that, that around. I'm not, I'm not braying it. I'm just trying to get an imperfect print just, just to get something a little bit different on top of the plane because that was, once again, a really bright pink. But now it's sort of like a bit grungy. You have a little bit of colour with your grunge and, and, and yeah, I just like the contrast of the colours. And once again, that one too, you can see the green that's gone over the purple, which I do love green and purple together. I like those colours. I'm just, yeah, just playing, just chilling out, having a good time. I hope everybody's well. We're into autumn now. We're still getting a lot of humidity and it's hot enough for me to still get into the pool. But it is definitely starting to cool down a bit. And I think we're all heat fatigued at this stage. We always are by the end of February. 
Uh, we've had so much rain this season and the humidity has just been really, really hard to deal with. It's been terrible to try and cope with. I'm still in limbo with my craft room, waiting for um, builders to get back with quotes and scopes of work. And it's just nothing happens in a hurry these days. I'm afraid after COVID and then with, we live in South East Queensland, so there's always lots of jobs for insurance companies. Um, there's not enough tradesmen for work from what I can gather. And it's not that easy. And then got to worry about whether they're reliable it's a bit of a nightmare but anyway it's an ongoing problem so there's that one too that's a bit grungy but I also like that if down the bottom you can see those little stripes that's from that piece of card just that light card that I've got there corrugated card and I love the fact that those that came out in that in that print that had circles on it so that worked really well so, and also too with jelly printing, you don't have to spend a real lot of money. What I'm dabbing there is, it's just a bunch of, um, what do you call them? Q-tips. And I've just tied them in the middle with a, a rubber band and they make excellent patterns. And that one's lovely too. You can see all those tiny little dots in there. That's, that's the cotton buds and it's really, really effective. And uh, I've also bought out the deli paper. Deli paper is really, really very strong considering it's not particularly thick. Um, I suppose it has to since it's used to wrap food, sandwiches and whatnot. And I've got enough pages now with just a layer of paint on them to print over the top of, but I've run out of collage um, papers so I'm going through and I will be using some some deli paper later on to stock up again on, on collage. There's another piece of copy paper that um, would have gone in the, in the recycle, I guess. And you could see on that one, that was a very bright orange that you caught a glimpse of. So out of, out of that one you get two and I'm not sure that you're going to see it now you can see this is starting to get a little bit tricky to get that paint off you can actually see that it's getting a little bit too thick if it gets much thicker than that I don't think it's going to be worth anything and I'll need to clean the plate but I do love that it's got that little hint of mauve in there and it's got all different sorts of colors so it, it's pulled really well. And that one too, done the same thing. And I like the fact that they come out imperfect and irregular. And you never quite know what you're going to get. But I'm really happy with a couple of these. And a couple of them I'm going to be photocopying and using the copy because I really love the way it came out. So this is an in-your-face in mustard sort of colour. But believe it or not, it does actually work. So that's going over the top of the stencil that I took off before. I, I had one, a little bit of um, one video spliced into the other and that one sort of jumped its cue. So I'm just pulling off what I don't know if you're going to be able to see just how beautiful this is. It's it's. Um, got the metallic in it it is absolutely amazing that print and this one here I feel the same way about the way it's pulling that blue with the copper and the brown and the yellow golden sort of colors in there it just all comes together and I'm thinking that this one here is just about the pick of the bunch so I'm it it looks a little bit flat on the screen but it is really, really pretty. So that one I'm pretty sure I will photocopy. And then I've gone into the colours that really I feel a little bit awkward with. But I'm trying to get a range of different colours. And a lot of these will be collage papers. Um, some of them will be tag and journal bases. 
just depends on what they look like and what project I've got on the go. But um, I'm I'm liking I'm liking what how they've turned out. This one looks particularly pretty because the the lines in that is actually a metallic, and I've got another one that I'm going over the top of. I think this one was a blue base. I'm just checking what's going on with them all. So that's the little little boxes. I really like that. I like that it's framed. I was trying to get the paint off that onto the onto the um, waste paper, but I actually had I just realised I'm going to get flipped. I think I was just rolling it back onto the brayer, and this one's nice too. I like this. It's sort of like it's not in your face purple or mauve. I'm a little bit happier with that one. And I do think that a lot of these will make great bases and, and just collage papers to tear up and add to projects. Mm, I quite like that. So what am I doing now? I'm peeling this one off. So this is the opposite to the other one. So one's a negative and one's a positive. And it hasn't taken all that well, but that's still a usable print. I like that. Now, this black thing with the, the circles on it, it's really, I don't know how long it's going to last. It's polystyrene and it's rigid. It actually came out of the bottom of a, a, a meat tray that I bought from the butcher. So you don't really need a lot of um, expensive things to do this. Now, I've flipped that over onto the paper and rubbed it because there's just way too much paint on it. And I think I've been able to get enough out of it for that to work, it looks lovely. You're not getting a very good look, but don't worry, um, you'll see them all at the end. I'm rushing through this and I've edited harshly. Oh, that's lovely, that one as well. You can see all that colour from underneath has pretty much been lifted now. All those ridges have gone. Now that's a piece of lace that I've got along there. I've not done that before and that lace was too thick for a print to come through. So I've just turned this over and I'm getting that, picking up that lace paint now. So it's still on that, on that piece of paper. I think it's the first time I've ever used lace to do it. And you can see that, that it really is quite pretty. So the plates are pretty much cleaned up now. Then any colour that you can see on them is what's coming through from the other side. So I'll have to... There you go, that one's pretty too. I'll have to do a few um, layers and, and get, the, get the, the jelly, get the paint built up again, sorry, on the jelly plate so I can get some good textures going. And, and that's the reason why I don't clean my plates off when I'm finished because I've always got something to... Well, most times I've got things to carry on with. I, I can't remember the last time I've had such clean plates. Now, this is going over a purple, just a plain purple one that's been done in the past. And I did that. That one already had some um, circles on it, but I put a stencil down on it and I got the rigid um, external lines of it and I didn't like it, so I just tried to cover it up a little bit. Uh, this is this is the um, negative or the positive of the, of the stencil that was just down. And, and this one surprised me. We'll, wait and we'll have a look at that. You can see it's it's resisting. It means it's stuck really well and bringing everything up. And you can see those circles in there. And this is another one that's just popped itself in out of context with something or other. Probably when I've put a couple of the videos together. And that's a really good collage paper. Or well, for me, I think it looks really good because it's got so many different colours in it 
it doesn't matter where you tear it you're going to get plenty of color and you'll get what you're looking for and once again you can see how well I've got this plate um, so I think now I'm just going in and doing some doing some deli deli papers although that's one that was done in the last session I think and I really like that but I'm really happy with that those colors um, really work for me that one's a bit icky not sure about that one that one might get covered up might get put in the pile to do next time now here I've got another one that's that's hanging on and I know if I just take it nice and slowly and don't rip it it's going to have some awesome colors through it and lovely movement and texture and I am pleased to say that these little little ones, these little um, Americana or folk art little bottles that I've got, they're original, which has got to take them back about eight years or so. I have, I did actually throw a few empty ones in the bin after this. So it's not that I'm trying to get rid of all my stuff. It's just like we've got to use it, don't we, or it'll just... It'll just go hard or separate and won't be any good to us. So I have endeavoured to get... I didn't think when I first started, but I did eventually think that, oh, how about I get the older ones out first? I was going to use more watercolours. But then I thought, mm, Vic, better f finish up the ones you've got that are the oldest. And I love what's on that plate right there. I think that would make an absolutely wonderful print and I hope I get one. I can't quite remember. And I have tried to make this as short as possible so that's probably why some things are just racing by and you haven't had a good look at some of the, the things that have come off the plate but we'll see them at the end. Never fear. We'll have a look at them together when I've cleaned up when I'm finished just continually just keep pulling prints off and once again getting more than one color getting a few colors in there colors that come from from past so I've really enjoyed doing this and I don't know why I don't do it more often it's like it was like with the alcohol inks it's it's like it with this it's so much fun and yet we seem to think, oh, I don't have time to get everything out to do it because obviously around me there's quite a few things to produce these and I've just laid paper all over my desk and all that paper that is on the desk for the, the roll-offs and the splatters and everything else, they will be in the next batch of jelly prints. And so we don't waste any paper or any of the inks or product we just keep laying paint down until we get something that we we are happy with. So you can see that I'm using too much paint because I'm getting more than than one pull off it, which I suppose isn't too bad, but I'm, I don't think you're supposed to have that much paint on them. I know when you're trying to lift the paint off, you just have a very thin layer across and, and that just brings everything up. So that's what's happening here. By getting back on, onto that and getting the paper back onto that quickly, I've been able to get a lot of what was underneath pulled up. So I'm having a great, I think I did really well this session. And there's that green there. I really like it. So yeah, I'm just just doing just doing pulls now to get some collage. And I've ripped that being a little bit too impatient. And look how clean that plate is now. And and that looks pretty good. And here's another hint too. I love this that I've got there. This gives such cool texture. But when we put it on to take the paint off, we've got paint on the tool. 
So have a piece of um, paper ready to go that you can stamp out what's on there onto the, onto the print. So then you get another interesting print and you don't have any waste at all, which pleases my little heart. I like green and blue together, so I'm happy with that one. So this is the two, the two prints you get from one stencil and one lot of paint. And you just have to go gently sometimes and know to be patient because by being patient, you're going to get a better result. You're not going to tear your paper for one, but also too, when it sticks like that, you know you're going to have this sort of awesome texture on it, um, it, it which is really, really lovely. And I do tend to be a little bit impatient. So having the three jelly prints on the go, the jelly plates on the go, it's like I said, you, you're using up all your paint. And if you're like me, you use too much paint. You, you're getting really good results. But it also gives me something to do while I'm waiting for one of the others to dry. I'm less inclined to be impatient if, if I manage it this way. I got a little bit of a tear on that one, trying to get it up. And that, that I think is the only tear from the plate that I got. I tore the sides of, I think it's this one actually, of, of one of the deli papers, trying to pull it off. It's like, it's pretty well stuck on there. <laughs> you can see it pulling, see the paint pulling off. It, it was, it was a, a fight to the death with this one. <laughs> The rewards, the rewards are sweet. It, it, it's really come together beautifully. It is one of the nice uh, dolly prints, I must say. A bit ragged on the sides, but it's for collage, so it doesn't matter, does it? It really doesn't matter. So now, after that breathtaking video, I've taken some photos, a bit of a video, show and tell of what I did, and I am really really happy to say that I am pleased with the results that I got today or oh, it was done over a couple of hours um so I, I'm I'm really happy with with what's happened these two I really really like a lot some of them are a little bit flat that are metallics but as we're going through these I would just like to say thank you for watching my videos. If you like it, could you please give me a thumbs up? I would appreciate that. And until number 10, take care of you, be kind to you, and be kind to the person standing next to you. We'll catch you next time. Bye for now.